vectors we have large number of physical quantities take the example of mass mass can be added algebraically that is like a number suppose we have two bodies of mass 1 kg and uh, uh, and 2 kg then net mass is 1 plus 2 that is 3 kg however there are quantities which cannot be added algebraically that is like a number for example displacement displacement cannot be added algebraically let's understand it with an example suppose a particle goes from point a to b then it goes from b to c the resultant displacement of these dis two displacement is ac which is not the sum of ab and bc that is the vector ac is not the algebraic sum of ab and bc such quantities that is the quantities like displacement are called vectors now let's come to the definition of vector a vector needs magnitude as well as direction for its complete description again if we take the example of displacement then the displacement pq the displacement pq needs the length of this line that is pq and its direction formation that is the length of pq and direction of pq then we can understand the then we can have the complete description of displacement pq so a vector needs magnitude as well as direction for its complete description again 